Yesterday, my daughter, who is in seventh grade, um, told me that uh, all these videos that I'm making now, attempting to be uh, a YouTube celebrity, will never work. Actually, I believed her, and I, I never got angry to hear this from her. I think she was speaking the truth. Uh, and I do believe that none of these videos will, will make it uh, maybe reach even 1,000 viewers in the short term. But nevertheless, I am still doing, that, doing this kind of videos. Um, you might ask why then. I would say <coughs> that uh, this is the nature of things. I mean, if uh, the, the the number of videos, the number of videos in YouTube, I mean, number of viewers in YouTube videos, never reflect the the, the quality of the content. Never reflect the quality of the content of those uh, uh, of those videos. I believe. Um, <clears throat> you see, the YouTube works in some mysterious way. I mean, there are a few things from the YouTube side, and then things from the psychology and mentality of the crowd side. From YouTube side, they, there, there must be some kind of an inner mechanism of how to promote a video, when to promote which video, some, some kind of an internal criteria um, that uh, makes a video uh, go up or down in terms of the viewer statistics. Um, do you remember? Some time back, there was this shooting in the YouTube's uh, headquarter in California by an Iranian descendant lady. I'll, I'll try to put a link in the description to that news item. Uh, the the thing is that the the, the 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 funny thing is that she did what she did uh, because. She was thinking that her videos were not getting the number of hits that she deserves. And she might have thinking that there is some kind of a YouTube conspiracy to let her videos not reach to the, to the audience. Of course, this is not a good justification to go yourself and kill the, the, the YouTube guys there. But... Um, Maybe she was having some uh, uh, having some uh, information about something that the YouTube really does. I don't know. I mean, myself being um, studied the artificial intelligence, machine learning. I know that all these things can be uh, can be controlled. These are just a uh, number of features and you give some weight to certain features uh, that will make, make the, the video go up or down. So these are all, all these things are possible. And without going into conspiracy theory and uh, all those things, um, the reality dictates that there, there are things that, that happens uh, that the, 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 the those who are in the power, whatever agenda they have, they can manipulate those things. I mean, on a larger scale, you just think about the elections, the votes, uh, all these things and the, 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 the control of the media through thought control process and mind control process. All these things, these are realities. I mean, I, I read with interest Many of the things that uh, Noam Chomsky and those those kind of authors and scholars they describe, and to me these are all true, and that makes sense. 
so what I'm saying here is that uh, <coughs> if you have my belief is that if you if, if you have a content that you think is of benefit to mankind uh, then don't worry much about the number of hits and uh, how many people will see it or not uh, and just make your con content and publish it you never know maybe a one day uh, some some person will will benefit from it and uh, over time this will create something very amazing or very interesting you see uh, <clears throat> let me now give you some some insight from the Islamic contents here you know the the ones who came with the ultimate truths are the messengers from Allah Noah, Moses Jesus Prophet Muhammad Abraham all those prophets they, they were the the ones that had the beneficial information for their societies whether in of, of, of well-being of this world or the hereafter but uh, the always it has been the case that the elites of the societies they didn't want them to 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 get media coverage in our modern terms so they always try to uh, bar them from promoting and preaching their message okay. so at, on the day of judgment there will be a messenger or a prophet who ha will, will, will bring a hundred person among the millions of members of that society another prophet will bring maybe 300 maybe 200 until the Prophet said, I'm just giving you the meaning of a hadith, Prophet Muhammad said, that until there will be a Prophet with one or two person, I mean following him, and a Prophet, وَلَيْسَ مَعَهُ أَحَدْ Nobody is with him. He just came but nobody followed. So what I'm advising is that, although my daughter was, I think she was speaking the truth, but don't get discouraged by this kind of uh, uh, possibilities and likelihood that your videos will not uh, get viewers I mean we know of many authors philosophers authors who had great influence on their on the society and the mankind in terms of their thoughts and, uh, and their influence but but uh, whenever they published their book for the first time, nobody saw it. Maybe after 20 years, 30 years, maybe after 100 years, uh, the society accepted and promoted their thought and it became a revolutionary information for the, for the society. This is a fact uh, Allah himself in the Quran has given analogy that it's like the the foam on on top of a flood you see when the the water comes from high in the mountain and it floods the the, the land usually in the in the top layer there are all this i don't know what's called in english forths or forms and all these uh, uh, non-beneficial things but they create some kind of a huge uh, mass and quantity and uh, size and people will think that okay they will always point to those those things but they are non-beneficial and they will just vanish they will they will they will just create this uh, uh, this in our modern term this media bubble and it will just burst but what will remain is is those fertilizers or those nutrients that uh, that will benefit the soil. This is this is the this is what remains out of the flood. But the other things they will just vanish in no time. So and uh, I think this is this is what it should be. I mean, there are lots of people who are 
independent voices. They don't belong to any big media corporations. You'll, you'll find them speaking the truth and saying things that really make sense and connect the missing dots, which the official media will never expose. And you'll never find them. But those independent voices, they will never get promoted and you'll never expect them having millions of v viewers and things like that. Uh, so, so the number of views, really what I'm, I'm trying to say here is that the number of views uh, it does not correlate to the um, quality and the benefit of the content that those, those otherwise celebrity videos promote. I mean, these days I uh, sometimes really love to watch those short videos of like 10, 10, 12 minutes or even sometimes 7, 8 minutes of this guy who makes his vlogs, vlogs from uh, Cambodia. I think his uh, name is uh, Maurice Herman. I will give you a uh, a link to his YouTube channel. I mean, this guy, originally British, but he he got fed up from the British society and from the official uh, media information and just went on as an independent voice uh, and tries to explain some current affairs here and there. Um, with lots of personal anecdotes. I'm just saying that this is one example. I'm not promoting these guys. You yourself, you can judge judge yourself if you like or not. But but uh, but uh, we need those uh, independent voices to to connect the dots, and it only requires just connecting the dot. And then if you get convinced, then then you'll find lots of resources. You need to dig on the lots of resources to see how the, the dots are connected. Um, <clears throat> I was uh, investigating the, the cultural aspect of the decline of the Western societies and uh, uh, I came across another author who is a Jew from the Russian descendant, but he was American Russian Jew and uh, university faculty. But uh, again, in a similar case, he got fed up of the US uh, culture and society, which was so materialistic and decided to go and settle down in in mexico his name is maurice berman so i was reading his latest book are we there yet it's a collection of a collection of uh, essays but he has an earlier trilogy of three books that uh, describes the decline of the united states and gives lots of uh, good points. So here is another another voice that you don't you will not find them very much uh, promoted. Even his books are not picked up by well-known publishers. Same the same thing is for Noam Chomsky. I mean, a person like Noam Chomsky. Imagine that he is not given access to the official or the well-known media of U.S. New York Times and all those uh, big. Uh, big voices uh, since uh, maybe 74 or since the Vietnam times you see so so all these things you need to find them in the alternative media which I think is, is growing people are, are getting more or more uh, awareness of those of those uh, alternative media outlets and I really advise you to do so I mean you have spent time on, on YouTube 
some songs or some music or some things here and there that when you think of might not have much of 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 uh, of value to to your real life other than just giving you some entertainment and this is what really the elders of societies they they try to do they just wanted to drown you uh, with all those entertainment and you don't feel any need for for any kind of of a news real news that that exposes the hidden agenda of those of those elders one of the best source of information not information i would say wisdom and knowledge and information is the quran in my view uh, but it doesn't come uh, easily i must say because the quran will never describe a current events or current uh, situation what it does is that it uh, describes the general uh, concept that helps you to understand the current situation so it requires that extra mental activity from your end to to apply the the current uh, to apply the Quranic text on the current uh, situation or your current society or your current uh, whatever it's it's not necessary the political situation in your society how the whole uh, world is working right now and that's the sense of what the Quran says tadabbur meaning that the, the pondering on the Quran tadabbur al Quran and uh, do you see that uh, police car which got broken and somebody is helping I think it got overheated uh, that police car got overheated and uh, someone is helping him anyway so <coughs> so I think this is a very intellectual pleasure when you try to read the Quran with the with the mindset of someone who wants to apply it for our times and this is an overarching theme that you'll find me talking about a lot within this uh, within these videos and I think this is uh, in it is more intellectual pleasure than when you solve a a riddle or a mathematical solution to or a physical problem you know in the physics you you solve some real life problem using some Newton's uh, <coughs> theories and uh, try to reach to an exact solution and you have that that moment of pleasure it's it's really like that and more because now we are it's not very small trivial question that you're solving these are really big big problems that all in a sudden you think that oh it makes sense the Quranic text makes sense so so here it is I think uh, I will try to restrict my videos to really I wanted to make it as short as possible because I know that uh, the, the attention span of of us with all those other contents is, is very short we always tend to just see few the first few minutes and then skip it to the next videos but anyway I'm, I'm almost reaching my office here in the morning so I have to say bye bye now but we'll we'll continue uh, uh, shortly <coughs>